know that we made our book into an audiobook? Now, some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not, but I did publish a book in 2022. It's called Blindly Painting Words of Love, A Poet's Adventure. And it's all about romantic poetry. So if you love rom-coms, if you love the cheesy stuff, you know, if you like movies like that and you're a sucker for it like I am, if you like The Notebook, uh, P.S. I Love You, um, 10 Things I Hate About You, or 10 Things You Love About Danny. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> if you like any movies like that, make sure you check out our book. And um, it's it's really cool, guys. It's It's been a big, big privilege. And as you, most of you might or might not know, all the royalties, every single penny that has come from that book, guess what? We've used it and we've donated it to all families that are immigrants who have kids with disabilities. It's been a great opportunity. We've helped families in Guatemala, in El Salvador. We're helping families. We're looking forward to helping families in the Caribbean. We've also helped families in Mexico, all across Massachusetts, even in the state of Maine. And we're going for more. And recently, we're working on a project. I'll probably update you guys at some point in the future um, where we're actually even supporting missionaries. And so this has been a really, really big privilege for us. Well. In the process of that, for the one year anniversary, I was like, you know, I could do a big celebration, but I also want to provide this book to make it accessible for people like myself who are visually impaired or are legally blind. Well, it doesn't just come as text. I wanted to make an audiobook, and not just any audiobook. I wanted to make an audiobook worth listening to. An audiobook that makes you feel like the butterflies and the jiggly wigglies, <laughs> right? Um, and so we made an audiobook, and we I just want to give a shout out to our bro Abner Garcia of Heartbeat Studio. I want to give a shout out to our sister Alejandra. Uh, she's been a great, great support of this audiobook. Both of them actually did the Spanish version of the audiobook. And then I also want to give a shout out to our bro uh, Pastor Aaron Rios, who did the English version along with Alejandra um, for the audiobook. It was really great. And Abner Garcia, Gar Garcia, he also did the music for the audiobook, which was a huge privilege to have. So guys, you guys know all the sacrifice and the time that you guys donated and gave so that we can make this audiobook happen. Well, let me tell you guys a little bit about an experience making an audiobook. Um, it was fun. It was very, very fun. I don't want to get too into the details of how to make a book, but I do want to get into a little bit of the details on how to make an audiobook. Okay? <clears throat> so with the audiobook, it was really, really fun. It was great. Uh, one of the things that you want to keep in mind if you're going to make one is you want to write out a script. Okay? You have to literally write in a script who is saying what. So I'll take an example right now really quick from the book. Um, there's a poem. It's called Skipping Off into Blue Moon Eclipses. Yes, it's as crazy as it sounds. Skipping off into blue moon eclipses. And this poem, it's actually a poem where two people are talking to each other. They're walking in the snow. They're both freezing cold. But at the end of the story, the guy asks the girl to marry him. Beautiful story. And I won't tell you what she says, but uh, why don't you go find out for yourself? And you're like, Danny, but I haven't gotten the book but I'm really interested in the audiobook. Well, before I let you guys go today, I'm gonna let you guys know how you guys can get a free version of the audiobook. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm looking forward to giving that away for you guys because you guys deserve the best. You guys are like family to me. You guys are the reason why I'm able to do what I do. And also, a lot of you have even left um, book reviews on the Amazon page for our books. So uh, thank you guys for that as well. And a lot of the feedback. And just to give you a comment on one of the feedback that I got, there was a, a beautiful girl, this, this great friend of mine. She's just so great. Um, she said, Danny, when I read your book, for the first time, I felt loved. For the first time, I felt beautiful. I felt like I was worthy of being loved and being in a relationship. So thank you. And I was like, 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe my book could do that. <laughs> but uh, but it was great, you know? I really prayed about this book. I prayed about what this book could do. So not only is it helping people directly, um, you know, like the readers and so forth, but it's also helping people indirectly by other people gifting it or, um, as I said, right, the donations that we're able to give thanks to all of your support. Um, so with that said, the audiobook, right? So in this audiobook, there was a part where there's a girl talking to a guy. Well, in parentheses, I have to literally write out in a script who is saying what so i'll take the english version for example there's a narrator right and then there's a girl talking to the guy and then there's a guy talking back to the girl but the narrator and the voice of the guy are the same person in this case it was aaron rios then the girl voiced by or narrated by alejandra and the music in the background also composed by abner garcia yeah and so one of the beautiful things about being able to do this book was being in the studio. Now, some of you guys probably are like, uh, never been in a studio, not really for me. Uh, but let me tell you guys something, dude, there is nothing more fun than being in a studio. Now I'm going to be honest with you. There are those days where it can feel very prolonged. But then there's those days where it's very exciting, very fun. You get to joke around and stuff like that. Uh, and then it goes by really quick. Yeah. And so one of the things that we were able to talk about while we were there was as the director, I had to tell them, well, Danny, how much emotion do you want? How do you want me to say this? Or do you want me to say it like this? Or should I say it like this? Right. You, you have to give these afflictions. And so directing both of our narrators um, in the English version, it was really fun. So one of the things I remember telling them was like, do it like you're in love. Do it like you're falling in love for the first time. Do it like you just saw this girl and you absolutely are blown out of your mind. Now, for example, Pastor Aaron Rios, he's married, right? And so I told him, do it as if you just saw your wife for the first time. Like when you're falling in love with her, when you guys just met, right? And, um, and, and it's one of those things that when you're, when you're directing people, you also have to keep in mind, maybe your interpretation is not their interpretation. Sometimes I had to ask them, be, be a little more breathy, right? More like, and then I saw her, right? Instead of, and then I saw her, right? And Aaron Rios, oh my gosh, pastor did an amazing, incredible job. He has a very deep, uh, trebly voice, I would say. Uh, very uh, Morgan Freeman, if you will, um, with a little bit of that Puerto Rican spice in it. Really awesome. Uh, and then Alejandra, oh my gosh, she has such a beautiful voice, guys. She's just one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met. Has such a sweet and tender, graceful voice. And um, who, by the way, is a singer. And if you guys want to know more about her songs, make sure you guys look in the description below. We'll be linking that down as well, okay? Um, but <clears throat> she did a really, really great job. And when you listen to it, um, I'm letting you guys know right now, if you guys are single, you, you might start to fall in love again. You might be inspired. You might be motivated to go and write your poetry, which in all honesty is one of the things that I hope it does do for you. I know that a lot of people out there have a lot of poetry that they want to express, but they feel like, I'm not good enough at poetry. I'm not good enough at being able to express myself on paper. Maybe you're a spoken word artist. Maybe you're uh, a sucker for romanticism like I am. Yeah. And so one of the things that I want to encourage you guys to do is read and reread and reread, even when you're writing the script, because you want to make sure that you memorize it, not literally word for word, but you memorize the emotion you want to transcend. Because there's certain emotion where it's like um, invigorating, right? It's like, and then, you know, but then there's some emotions where it's a lot more graceful, more tender than there's sometimes where it's questionable. It's doubt. Like, and then he, he looked at me and I don't know what he meant by that, right? So what kind of emotion do you want to transcend on your readers or your listeners in this case? Yeah. And so I want to tell you guys how you can get a free copy of this audiobook. So if you came this far, why don't you let me know in the comments down below and let me know, Danny, I'm getting mine today. All you have to do, go to dannyacosta.com. That's D-A-N-Y-A-C-O-S-T-A.com. And where it says that you can subscribe for a newsletter. Okay. I promise you it's not going to like flutter and flood your stuff with spam. I'm not that kind of person. If that, I might send you something like once every quarter. In other words, once every three months. But if you send me a message right now through that, 
and you said, Danny, I'm here for my free audiobook. Just put free audiobook, Danny, and put your name. I would love to add you to our, our email list, and I'll send you a link where you can download your completely free audiobook. And if you have um, the opportunity, why don't you let me know what you thought? I would love to hear your feedback. Maybe leave us a review on Amazon. That would be really, really greatly appreciated. Uh, but be nice, be kind, but be honest as well, right? I think I believe in, um, what is it? Uh, honest criticism, I think is what they call it. Uh, crazy criticism. Uh, but, but, you know, let us know what you think. I think it'll be a huge blessing for all of those that are out there that really need some words of encouragement, of affirmation, some words of uh, inspiration, yeah? Yeah. Um, and if you feel comfortable, why don't you send me some of your work? Maybe send me some poems that you like to read or poems that you've written.